Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 7th, 2019. So yesterday, we finally get a little bit of a relief in the market, a little relief rally going on, the Dow rallying over 300 points yesterday. But you know, are we out of the woods yet? And I don't think so. <laughs> I think we're a long ways from being out of the woods. Lots of turmoil still left here in the market. It is wonderful to see that relief rally. So first off, let's take a look at these moving averages. The Dow bouncing back up off of that 200-day moving average. Getting a little bit of a lift, but let's also notice that we did not clear that opening um, gap down yet. So we haven't moved up into that gap yet. So we have basically an inside day. Now this morning we're seeing futures showing just a minor little bit of bullishness. They've um, been up as high as 100 points and has currently slipped back as earnings continue to roll out this morning. So as we start moving up toward the 50-day moving average here in the Dow, let's keep in mind that all of our shorter-term averages are pushing down, possibly creating a strong level of resistance up here. So let's watch that closely. We cannot be ruling out when, when we have so much volatility in the market. We cannot rule out anytime we see the market gapping up or trying to move higher at the open, we can't rule out the possibility of a pop and drop pattern where we gap up and sell off the rest of the day. So let's watch these, these price actions closely and um, not get overly comfortable in this relief rally. It's wonderful to see the relief rally begin and it's possible that it could follow through and carry on carry on and move up higher. Now I mentioned yesterday what I would like to see is I would like to see us continue to move on up and try to fill this gap. Whether we can get that done over the next few days the rest of this week I don't know but that's what I would like to see and if we get a failure up in that area around that 50-day moving average would not be a big surprise to me. So let's keep a close eye on this and plan our risk forward very, very carefully because um, anything is possible and particularly with the number of earnings that we have coming out. Let's face the fact that a tremendous amount of technical damage has been created in these charts and that volatility is not going to drop out of here quickly. There's still an awful lot of uncertainty in the market. However, it is really nice that China followed through with its plan to stabilize its currency. That should help some of the fluctuations that are going on and maybe calm a little nerves. But whether we can actually find those bulls to push forward, I don't know. Particularly after Morgan Stanley um, yesterday issued a, um, a forecast um, of their expectations because of this trade war um, and their thoughts that the trade war is going to be lingering for a long period of time, they have reduced earnings estimates for the next two consecutive years. So pretty challenging times ahead, possibly. Um, let's um, plan carefully um, our trading and, and really stay focused on the price action of the chart and maintain the discipline of our trading rules. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, also tremendous technical damage um, in the chart. And as you can see, uh, another inside day yesterday, unable to breach that gap down, un unable to breach up into the gap. Now this morning, we're looking at just a ever so slight uh, bullishness here in the SPY right now, but that doesn't lead us to um, the idea that we're going to break back higher. Keep in mind, any rally back, we could run into major price levels of resistance in the chart that rejects the price. We also could run into those key moving average levels that could reject price. So plan carefully and be really watchful of those. Uh, relief rallies are wonderful as as long as they continue, um, there certainly is no guarantee that we're going to see uh, these relief rallies continue considering 
the amount of technical damage in the chart. A little back and forth should be expected, so don't be too surprised if um, we see those bears uh, raise their heads here again real soon. Let's take a look at uh, the cues. You know, I wish I could give everyone the warm and fuzzy and say, ah, everything's going to be okay. But I certainly can't say that in a market environment like this. I, in fact, I, what I would say is anything is possible. Um, we have a, an awful lot of earnings reports. We have an awful lot of uncertainty out there. We have um, uh, two nations, China and the United States, that want to air their laundry, their dirty laundry, in the news environment um, and through Twitter and things like that. And um, any, any report, any report could reverse this very, very quickly. So I don't want to give everyone the opinion that everything is terribly bearish. Um, I don't think that. Um, what I do think is we should be very careful about how we approach this market because of the sensitive nature, how fragile um, emotions are right now in the market. So as we approach resistance levels in these charts, we have to be considering and preparing for the possibility that those price levels run into a bunch of bears up here and push things back down. So watch that close. Now, if we take a look at the NASDAQ here, you can see the NASDAQ, another inside day. It tried yesterday to break through. It was showing more strength yesterday than the other indexes. And this morning, we're looking for a little bit of lift here right now that could slightly lift us into that gap. We'll have to see if that can hold uh, this morning. And let's keep in mind, as we approach, rally back up to approach that 50-day moving average, any place in here, we could see those bears reassert themselves and push back down. So watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at IWM. Poor IWM um, all over the place. Um, but IWM rallying back yesterday, just like the other indexes, running into some price resistance here on the chart. And that carries all the way back over here. Uh, so we'll have to see if it can follow through and breaking back into this level up here um, and trying to break back into uh, that gap. Um, a lot of uncertainty here. A uh, lot of uncertainty. Let's take a look at the VIX. Whoops. VIX got a little bit of calming yesterday in the VIX with that rally, but we're still very elevated in that VIX. That means certainly we have uh, that possibility of a very erratic price action with that kind of volatility. Now, if you guys remember, I said I wasn't necessarily majorly concerned uh, about this first wave of selling that might come in. Um, where I'm going to get really concerned about the market is if we cannot pull back or if we hold a higher level in here. Um, that's where the real selling, that's where the real technical damage could really be created um, if we hold that higher level. So right now we're in that tentative area where we're getting that little bit of a rest. We're pulling back to some price levels here testing support levels um, in the VIX. But let's keep in mind, we can quickly, uh, uh, after that rest, make one of these moves where we spiked on fear, a little bit of resting pullback, and then we spike on up to that next level. So let's be careful. That's where the real ugly selling comes in, and that's where the painful move in the market really begins. Hopefully, cooler heads will prevail here, but we want to keep an eye on this VIX. If fear um, just kind of lightly pulls back and then begins to spike again, we could see that quick selling coming into the market. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, that four-week new high, new low ratio. This probably gives us the best uh, picture of a bullish bullish possibility and that we're down here in that bullish reversal zone and you can see if i pull this chart back we get down here in these areas we typically bounce in some way shape or form but i want to point out these periods right in here where we can get that bounce up out of here and then return right back so we're getting that little bit of a bounce here and it's certainly possible that little bounce could be rejected right back down in here we can stay down here in this bullish reversal zone 
for a while. I don't want to see that happen, but that is certainly a possibility, and we want to consider that, particularly as the indexes move up to test resistance levels or those key levels uh, or key moving averages. So let's watch that closely. Right now, the bullish reversal zone is suggesting we should bounce a little bit more in the market. We're seeing that in this morning's pre-market open. We'll have to wait and see how that translates as the day follows, uh, follows along. But right now, we're in that bullish reversal zone here on T2122. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. It doesn't have a whole lot to say today um, about where the market goes. Um, we have a Fed speaker here this morning. Doubt we'll learn anything more there on that. And then we have the EIA petroleum status report that can certainly move around those oil stocks. Obviously, a good report that shows a decline in supplies could help support the market because those oil companies, um, oil stocks could rally from that. If we happen to see a surprise build in supplies, that could obviously also hurt the market in pushing those oil stocks down and continuing to drive those averages lower. So be really careful here. Um, but I would expect the the predominance of market move is going to come from the earnings calendar. Today we have over 430 companies reporting earnings. They're coming in really fast and furiously right now. And since I have started putting together the morning blog, which by the way, if you look below the title of the video, there's always a link back to the morning blog if you guys want to um, learn just a little bit more, um, read about uh, what I put together there in the blog. Um, since I started this morning, we were up over 100 points in the Dow futures, and now we have pulled that back. We're currently setting at 67, or excuse me, 36, 37 um, uh, points up in the Dow futures. So we're getting that bounce around right now. And as those earnings come out, that could certainly be affecting that, whether uh, both bullishly or bearishly. So we have to consider there's still a long time here before the market opens. Anything is possible with this kind of volatility in the market. So watch your price action carefully. And stay disciplined to your rules. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I know this is a very challenging market environment, um, but I also want to uh, remind you that cash is a position. You know, as traders, we don't have to trade every single day. We have that flexibility where we can pull back, protect our capital, wait for better times, wait for our edge to return in the market. Now, I would say if you are a, a very adept day trader, this kind of uh, market volatility can provide um, tremendous opportunity in these really quick moves and fast reversals in the market. However, if you're swinger position traders, you're going to find the price action to likely continue to be very, very challenging throughout this week and, and maybe even in the weeks coming. So kind of keep that in mind and plan carefully how you decide to move forward in this market. But with that, if this is the first time you've seen these videos and you find this video helpful, could you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then when the pop-up comes up, click, make sure you click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I post uh, videos. I now have 600 videos on YouTube providing free education and free information to folks out there. If you find this stuff helpful, um, if you find these videos worthy, please do me uh, another favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You know, I do my, my very best to provide good quality information without hype, without all of the prediction that you might find other places. I just want to be a focused um, chartist on the price action and the technical analysis of the chart. Not trying to read uh, my hopes or predictions into a chart, but what I see in that chart. Um, and if you find this information helpful, please feel free to share this with any other uh, 
friends and family out there, you guys are responsible for the growth of this channel. I truly am humbled by the things that you write um, in the comments. Um, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you so much. You, you can't even imagine. Thank you very, very much. So with that, let's take a look at a few things that could be setting up, of places where you might find a little bit of uh, positiveness um, in charts. And there's, there's a few out there, but right now they're rather few and far between. Take a look at Starbucks. Starbucks is holding up in a really nice trend and found some buying support in here yesterday. If that can follow through, you can see I placed a price alert right here. It really is a legitimate entry point right in here because if our stop loss is here, we have a very low risk in this trade if we were to get stopped out if it were to reverse. But I'm actually asking this to do just a little bit more to kind of break through um, this little line of resistance that I've put up here um, for that potential upside trade. So want to see a little bit more bullishness here in Starbucks. And this is, uh, you know, a very common pattern that I look for. I call this a pullback opportunity. And that pullback opportunity is when that stock has been in this nice trending move. And I, while most folks are looking for the stock that's already popped and already moved, I'm um, honestly looking for stocks that are pulling back towards support levels. And then I, I prepare for that trade ahead of time. Oftentimes I catch those really great entries into these trades because I'm watching the pullbacks here. I'm waiting for the trade to come to me. And that's what I'm doing here in Starbucks. I've stretched this one up just a little bit higher because of the uncertainty of the market. But um, take a look at those trending stocks that are holding up. There may be opportunity here if the market does start to rebound and come back a little bit. Let's take a look at um, um, a stock like Restoration Hardware. Restoration Hardware has held up very, very well here. Um, we had this really light pullback in this move, holding up quite well and then moving up a bit um, yesterday. You can see where my price alert is on the chart. And um, this, I, I was doing a class on this and in place where I think I would be placing my stop loss on this trade. So keep an eye on this. Now, I also want to mention that just because I'm showing you uh, charts that could be setting up, these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security at all. These are meant for, uh, for study. These are meant for um, your watch list and your evaluation and really nothing more. So please make sure you make note of that. Um, a chart like RH gives me a um, gives me that sense that we have upside possibility simply because we didn't get carried away in the sell-off. There was no major pullback here. Um, the, the sellers don't want to turn loose of this stock. So um, keep an eye on a chart like that. Um, definitely has some potential. Now other charts have just shown dismal results. Um, uh, failing horribly overall. But there are a few of those that are still holding up relatively well, trying to come back after some heavy selling. And these are in a pattern that we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. That rounded bottom breakout pattern is, is a stock that has been oversold. It's been heavily oversold. We have this really sharp decline here in the chart. And if you look at my moving averages here, this is a 50 day, this is a 34 EMA, and this is a 20 day moving average. When those moving averages separate out that far apart from each other, it shows us a condition of oversold. And the rounded bottom breakout begins when the prices start to roll back over. And I want you to take note that all of our moving averages are now starting to form up on the right side of things and that they're providing this potential level in here, this moving average squeeze, a potential level of support, assuming we can recover. Right now we have this nice little pattern. We had a little hammer and a follow through yesterday. We wanna see this continue to move on up, but it is possible in this pattern we get a little more rest, a little more consolidation before that occurs. So keep an eye on KSS. Um, looking pretty good still, still has opportunity here. 
Also, you might want to take a look at KAR. Now, KAR certainly pulled back. It broke its trend. So there is reason for concern here on this chart. But notice we're just not getting that massive sell-off like we're seeing in a lot of stocks. KAR, if it can move on back up, if it can recover its trend, or even put in a higher low, maybe consolidate and move on up, there still may be some opportunity here in the recovery for KAR. So keep that on your watch list and watch that chart. So I know that's not as many as I normally um, show you during the morning videos, but honestly, there's so much technical damage in charts. It's really, really difficult to find a whole lot of good quality upside charts. And right now, it's not the wise time to be looking for short trades because we should expect this little relief rally to continue maybe just a little while, and then we'll look for those failure patterns that could bring on those short trades. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. I know this is challenging and if you're finding this to be extremely challenging, I want to encourage you to stick with it. Don't give up on your dream of being a trader. Believe me, it's worth it. It is truly worth it. Hey guys, I want to point out that there's quite a few videos um, on the on the YouTube channel, and I posted a new one yesterday. I'm going to try and get another one posted um, uh, today, trying to catch up on some of these videos I've I've recorded here in public webinars. So please make sure to take advantage of those. Um, click those thumbs up buttons and leave comments. Thank you guys. You guys are the best, and I will talk to you all bright and early. Thursday morning. Have a good one.